The gilded cage. What? Social climbing. What's happening? Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. Oh. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> oh. Okay then, I guess. Cool, yo. So we're sleeping with the enemy. Brilliant. I think he's the enemy. I don't know what he is at the moment. He's not really done anything wrong, that's the thing. He gave us Jack back. Is that Bill? I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Oh, let's see. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. It looks nice though. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions Ew. after last year's incident. Well, I've got a lot of them, I'm afraid. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. It's a nice hat, Dutch. Now what's going to go wrong? Shoot out the ballroom maybe? I'm sure we can get some guns from somewhere. Hello Pierre. Wherever you are, hello. Oh sorry. Oh it's a very nice house. This is a good job I used some fucking pomade, isn't it? Oh, this fancy shindig. You should have told me and I would have had a haircut. I would have lopped it off. My facial hair's come back. <laughs> I literally only shaved it like two days ago and we're back to a beard. Oh god, here we go. Hello. Oi. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are. Yeah, he doesn't like us, does he? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar. And I Fucking hell, look at the size of that cigar. Foul business. <laughs> Huge. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> is he showing us all the people we're going to be taking down for him? Oh, oh and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have oh, some natives. Them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. Yeah. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be taking all of those people out, aren't we? Including the natives, which is a shame. I don't condone Native American abuse. 
which I know is a bit late to be saying that, <laughs> considering we're in the 21st century, but I'm not a fan of what happened. But I suppose it was a very, very different time. Speaking of, I have just bought The Revenant. Because it is a brilliant film. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. There's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such... Uh, what is he talking about? You, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. The trolley station? As in... Okay, the tram? Be no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> I've also just realised he gave us the shit wine, apparently. Who the fuck is... Someone's just liked my f fucking oh, fucking Twitter and shit, making my phone buzz. I apologise if it's loud. I don't know if it is or not. The first one was that dinged off. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Anita. Thank you. Next time I have chocolate pouring after that fountain. Right, is that what we're going to do? Are we going to go speak to each of these four or five people then? Uh, can I not steal something? Oh, who's handing out champagne? I'll have some champagne. Oi, you. Yeah, give me some champagne. Holy shit, if it's free, give me it. I'll fucking take it home. Right. We're looking for the mayor or just somebody to sort of, like, mingle with. I really want to talk to the natives and learn about them. We did about them in GCSEs and they're so fucking interesting. Um, I think there's a fellow there that you pointed out. Hello. No. Oh, yeah, it's Lemieux. Lemieux. Mayor Lemur, I found Lemur. Oh, he's the mayor. <laughs> Lemur. Just keep fucking drinking. Keep plowing it down. Come on, keep fucking plowing it. Come on. Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Oh God, fuck! Come on. Yeah, Godot Arthur doesn't really condone some uh, casual racism or racism of any kind, for that matter. We did come across some uh, KKK, if you remember. I came across the second one. Um, the first one they set on fire, didn't they? And then ran away and I murdered the chosen one. There were another one where they were trying to lift a cross up and it was too heavy and fell on them. That was quite entertaining to watch. Hello, hello, don't mind me. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How about I be your new bodyguard or something? Give me some dosh. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. Henri Lemieux. It's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Mm, I do now. We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, I hate fireworks. Can't stand the banging. Yeah, what are you doing? Mr. Cornwall was quite <gasps> insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? He did. Yes, we'll find out what. Okay, okay. I forgot that we've not actually been to Cornwall's base yet. 
I keep on thinking like, yeah, we're near the end of the game. We're in the final city. We're going to take down Bronte. <laughs> but no, we've still not even dealt with fucking Cornwall yet. Remain undetected. Can I get another drink? I feel like a drink would help me blend in a little bit more. A couple of drinks. And carve through them as we go along. Mr. Hawks Bill. Pierre, come back. Pierre, what are you doing? Oh, look, there's a man there. Stay back from the servant to make sure you're not spotted. Okay. So the guards are fully aware that a criminal's here. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said you will sign later. I'm just having a little look around, don't mind me. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone through there. I wonder if we can knock him out. Can we save the game and try it? No! We'll get the ledger first. Oh, shit. It's entered a cutscene. <laughs> Bollocks. I really wanted to knock the shit out of him. I wonder if we can do it now. Oh, a letter, one minute, there's a letter. Uh, Lemille? Where do you go? Oh, I've lost him. I fucking lost him. Anything else I can steal? No, nothing else. No, don't look like it. There's a flashy thing, but I think that was from the letter. I think it's probably going to be best for us to just leave. And go back out to Dutch. Oh, Dutch chickens. Oh, Dutch chickens. I have a letter for you from Cornwall. Oh, Vandalin. Here you go. Sorry. Yeah, let's roll. Story progression, I guess. Plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Oh, fuck no. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. Oh, God. I heard about a high stakes poker game. I'm no good at poker. Unless we're going to rob it, I'm no good at poker, I'm afraid. Oh, one minute. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get Lenny, it. Lenny, Lenny. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. You do look out of place. Well, folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of point, then let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Here's them Anybody papers I took. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Arthur gives off a, like, sort of, I guess, Michael vibes for GTA. Michael was always my favourite character. 
The thing I hated about GTA though was you couldn't properly customize apart from like hair. Because they'd just change their fucking clothes. So it's like, what's the point? So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Oh shit. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Brilliant. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too. At the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Do I pick which one we do? I don't know. Because I don't know if exactly. I could pick out of those three. I want to do them all. But I can smell it. Or are we going to do them all? I'm going to go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Right, go on then. Okay. Maybe we are going to do them all and I just get to pick which one we're going to do first. Okay, so I did do the Mary Beth mission off camera and my game basically just froze and gave up. Everything went wrong. It hit like midnight and everything just broke uh, while I was playing. So... If we have to do that mission, I don't think we do, because I had a little bit of a glance at um, like how many missions we actually had left, and there's a lot, including the epilogue missions. Um, in terms of like the actual main story minus the epilogue, we don't actually have that much left. Um, we've got about five to six, maybe, in this chapter, um, but apparently they're pretty big, important missions. And then I had like a quick preview of the final, um, the final chapter. There was like a little... A little sort of description of it and uh, it was it was certainly interesting to see <laughs> let's just put it that way but we've got a lot to do in terms of the epilogue as well there's a lot of epilogue missions a lot of them oh Evelyn Miller unfortunately so mr. Arthur Morgan at least sometimes can I say something rude sure the mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief. Rain's Fall. Eagle, Eagle Flies. Flies. I feel like Eagle Flies is in Red Dead 1. I'm going to quickly Crossing Google it while this plays. Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people we free. Or even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace. Right, so Rain Falls is only in this game. Broken, and and Eagle Flies. And punished and Punished and moved, I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace. No, only in Red Dead Two. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mister Morgan. Right, Red Dead Redemption natives, it's to do with Native war. Americans, derogatory term, is. Redskins. Um, I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land Indians, ago, except uh, advertising cookies. Yes, <laughs> thank you for that. Claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. Right, who we got? So you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. And even more obviously, I would be used Nastas. to Listen, I realize ah. it's a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament. Right. I'm a working man, I got problems in my own. So that's the only dude hey, very handsomely, Mr. Moore. The only Native American fella that we can How much? We can like Total sort of name drop, I guess, from Red Dead One, which There's is a shame. A on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. I just remember like that there was like a whole little sort of story arc around the Native Americans helping Dutch. We understand and we will pay. Thank you. I haven't been listening to a single thing going on here. A couple of days here, Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. OK. 
Okay. Right. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. He's got a very red nose all of a sudden. Both of them have. Hello. Sort of a glowing Hello. nose. The wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Right, so... Me, uh... Oh god, okay. Kerosene and Tata, we're actually going there now. Well, not now, obviously. Um, I think we have literally got to wait a couple of days. But, we can go do this mission instead with Trelawney, who's planning on robbing a boat. Been looking for you. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, You're right. here I am. Well, we Which my head. To get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Can't? Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. You See, I don't understand this because I'm looking That's literally so like everybody else. That was my whole plan. Man. Come along, dear boy. Come along. But if he's going to buy me some free clothes, why not? Oh, I've lost my tie. He's taken... Oh, maybe that's why. I'm not meant to have a tie. <laughs> Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Buy the three-piece fine this, suit. Gentlemen. Or fine three-piece like suit. suit. He really is. The Whitemore. It was the English's fault. His or the Whitmore. The Whitmore. Hey, oh, the Whitmore. I can't do anything. Holy shit, okay. Ugh. Awful. How dreadful. Can we stop with the inbreeding jokes? <gasps> no! <gasps> no, I didn't want to do it yet. I wasn't ready. No, ladies. Oh, why is that fucking buzzing again? I've started already. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go away. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All I do like to lay it on thick and drunk. Signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't Brilliant. think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. It's a shame that they haven't done the heist sort of layout because that was always one of the plus sides, sort of picking what you wanted to do. And I know that people would have just gone, oh, well, they've just copied GTA, blah, 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 but it doesn't have to be part of the main story. It can be little omissions like this. This isn't necessarily important, is it, in the grand scheme of things? It's nothing related to, like, Bronte or Cornwall. It's just a shame that those sort of, like, features have been taken out and wasted, I guess. It would have been nice to have, like, picked, you know, whether you wanted to take Strauss or Hosea or Charles or whatever, and there was actually a chance of them dying. Oh, fuck's sake, right. I didn't want to get my hair cut, but okay. What are we doing here? Extra clean shaven. Oh, I see. Getting to like five o'clock shadow, I see. Um. It's not good. Not good at all. Not that they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. Oh God, I guess back to the old one. Yeah. Now's the time to start looking after ourselves again. I mean, we've stopped travelling. We're in higher society. Now is the time. <laughs> Make him look like a prince, sir. I'd say he's quite prince-like, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. There, very smart. You want to fucking start? Have you seen your tash? Your dirty moustache. I've arranged some transportation for you. Why am I buzzing? Morning, mister. No, stop buzzing. Why am I buzzing? Stop. Why have you walked me round to this side and then not let me get in? Why am I buzzing all the time? Let me turn my notifications off because this is... Oh my god. There's loads of them. Why are they all coming through? Uh, 
No, stop it. Push notifications. Off. Oh, get them off. Stop it. Go away. Off. 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 There we go. Fucking hell. Oh. That wasn't even Twitter that time. That was awful. That was Instagram. Go away. What's this? Oh, that's part of my Elgato. It's fine. I thought it was a pop up. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Desmond Blythe. He's a fortunate hosiery of all things. <laughs> he likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently right, if that buzz is the I'm going to kick off. Friend of mine. One. And my phone's getting tossed across the Don't fucking worry, bedroom. Arthur. Bedroom? Room. Just room. I don't get the right cards, and I don't win all the money, or I don't bust yeah, everybody, or whatever it's called. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. It's a lovely boat. Oh, there she is. Come on. Okay. More of a ferry. Oh no! Look, no. Well, I suppose it is sort of a ferry. It's ferry like. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Well, I fucking guarantee that uh, Red Dead Redemption Online lets you buy these. <laughs> yes, yes. Believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer. And this should be a very lucky night. Right, okay. There they are. Gentlemen. Watch Strauss and listen to the dealer. To you, Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Look. Wait. Is Javier the dealer? I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Making sure my bloody recording isn't messing up. Right, I'll go first. Drop me guns. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Here you go. Good time. The oh my fucking god, it's buzzed. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. He's really hamming it up in here. Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Well, I've got <laughs> not got much choice because I don't really know how to play it. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Have you? Sounds like bollocks to me. Gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. Um, how do I look at Strauss? We aim to please, sir. He's shaking his head. So, Fold. How are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Boy. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. Oh, fucking hell. Should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's just gone all in. Here we go, We've all gone all in. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Are we going to let him win it all and then take it all off of him? Is that, what, is that what's going on? Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. No, we've just eliminated the other two, I think. 
Whatever happened to Lies Dice? It was so much easier. I'm an oil man. I'm a sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, we've got a hundred more than him, apparently. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but he shook his head. Strauss is going to keep betting. Right. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. Raise. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, keep that in. Raise. Put a hundred in. Have I done it right? Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Oh bugger. Yeah. Raise. Call. Okay. Interesting. Very cowgirls. Oh my god, we won four hundred. I'm about to learn how to play poker, fucking hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Alright, you got something else to play with. Meaning Well, I heard well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I gotta watch. Look at you. An expensive <laughs> one. Real fine. Swiss. I gotta watch. No, well, look at you. In the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. So we got two kings. Two kings. All in, Mr. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his yeah. own fortune. Yeah. All in. Okay. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh oh. Parking. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Strauss, you fool. Uh oh. Yes. Oh. I don't know what that means. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh shit. God damn you. No offense. None taken. Well, no offense. On Rocky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Oh. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Hello, Javier. Follow me, gentlemen. Come Strauss, me, no. Okay. Okay. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little law giver right here. Oh, have you? Very good. That's good to know. I'm gonna stick that away. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh, fucking hell, here I we know, go. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well,. Here we are. Shit, there's somebody in there as well. Looks like a kitchen. <laughs> but it did from out here. Those counters over there look a bit like a kitchen counter. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. How are we gonna do this? Don't Ooh. reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Thank you. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> I thought we might knock him out or something, but never mind. Fucking hell. Oh, 
heard that. Quick, clear the stage. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the one. A few thousand. Now let's get out of here. Come Fucking on. hell. Let's go meet the others. Go, sure. go, go. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. 